Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be looking at the market value to realized value Z-score, or the MVRV Z-score for short. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and again, remember to check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium, or the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Dot com. The sale, if you want to lock in the lower rate, is ending on April 17th. So you just have about one more day to sign up if you want to lock in the lower rate, and you'll get access to all these charts and a whole lot more. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, you know, one of the things we've, we've spoken about before is, is occasionally putting on our on-chain analysis hat. And of course, on-chain stuff can be, can be somewhat manipulated, but I still do think it does provide some value. You can still identify long-term trends in the market. And so what I want to do here is I want to briefly go through, again, the MVRV Z-score and kind of show you where we are today, talk about the downside risk, but also talk about the upside potential as well. I mean, again, the, the goal is to, is to provide an unbiased perspective on the market. And I feel like it's hard to find unbiased perspectives we have to constantly ask ourselves, you know, are we providing an unbiased perspective? Are we looking at it in an unbiased way? It means both ways, right? It means talking about the downside risk, but also talking about the upside potential. And then you can sort of, you know, figure out how much risk you want to take on. So, you know, if you're not familiar with the MVRV Z-score, it's just simply e equal to the market cap minus the realized cap. So the realized cap is different than the market cap and that the market cap is just the you know, basically the, the market cap, as you guys know, is just is just the supply times the price. But the realized cap is actually calculated by using the the, the price at which that Bitcoin was last transacted on chain. So it's the market cap minus the realized cap divided by the standard deviation of the market cap. Okay, so this I think is a good way to to sort of identify what is the, you know, by this metric, what is the current risk on the market? And one of the things you'll see is that we see fairly clear bottoms and we see somewhat clear tops. Okay, so back in, you can see it had a top here in in February when when the, the market cap of Bitcoin was just over 1 trillion and in late February, you can see that the MVRV Z-score hit a local top of just over seven. Do note that in 2017, it actually went all the way up to around 10. And basically every other cycle has seen it go up to around 10 at some point. But this one has not yet so far seen that. Now, one of the things that I think is useful to look at when looking at things like the MVRV Z-score is, is comparing where we are right now and then sort of drawing a line and saying, okay, well, where where have we been in the past when we have been at this level? Well, we were also at this level in the summer of 2021, and we ultimately bounced, right? We ultimately bounced. And you might see this sort of like this orange line that's on the chart here. That is the realized cap. So the, the realized cap right now is approximately $467 billion. Okay, so obviously we know that the market cap of Bitcoin right now is less than $1 trillion. But the, the realized cap is all the way is, is sitting just below um, uh, 500 billion. You can even see the, the Bitcoin market cap right now is around 758, 759 billion, whereas the realized cap is around 467 billion. Now, the interesting thing though is, is you know, what where do we go from here? And, and one of the ways you can look at that is try to figure out, well, where have we gone in the past when we were at this level, right? So what you can do is you can kind of go back across and say, well, back in the summer, we went back up, but we also put in a lower high, okay? Now, there have been times in the past where we were at this level, like in 2018, where we ultimately fell below the realized cap and the MVRV Z-score went negative, okay? So, so it went negative. However, there was also a time in 2013 where you can also see the MVRV score and at some point went negative. But if you go back to earlier than that, you can also see that the MVRV Z-score dropped to around the same level that it's currently at, and it still didn't stop it from ultimately going higher. If you hide the MVRV Z-score, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you know, the, the, the market cap of Bitcoin was staying above the MVRV Z-score, and then it sort of just leveled out here for a bit, and then it had another run later on, and then eventually it went down, but it, it did take it quite some time, okay? 
and you can kind of see, you know, there, there are some similarities here. We've just been hovering right above the the realized the realized cap, and it is slowly. You, know, you can see that the realized cap is in fact slowly moving higher, right? It, I mean, it was to give you an idea, it was at like 377 billion back in May of 2021, and now it's all the way up at 467 billion, right? So it it, it generally increases, not always. I mean, there are there have been some times where it where it does slightly go down, but for the most part, the the indic or this this MVRV or the the realized cap on Bitcoin does in fact increase. So. Going back and looking at the MVRV Z score, I think what you need to understand is what is the downside risk, what's the upside potential. Well, according to this chart, right, the upside potential is for the MVRV Z score to go up several multiples from here, right? I mean, you're talking about going up maybe back up to six, maybe back up to eight, and maybe we even make it back up to 10 at some point. But the other thing to consider is the downside risk, of course, which could also send us back to below the realized cap. So that's sort of we sit. That's where we sit today, right? There's, there's, you know, there's, there's all sorts of reasons you could be bullish or bearish, and and you you could make a case either way. But I, I think the point is to say, you know, like there, there's a risk on the market right now. It's a moderate risk. I mean, like the risk right now isn't nearly as high as it was back in say, you know, early 2021. We were sitting at 60k. We were up 20x in like one year. But the risk isn't as high right now. But you can also sort of identify what the downside risk is from these levels. So as long as you have the right time frame, it doesn't really matter what happens in the short term. We, we maybe we get a second wave like in 2013, and and we ultimately you know test the realized cap much further down the road. Or if we do go down, that would actually present the opportunity, in my opinion, of a lifetime on on Bitcoin accumulation. But for right now, we're sort of just kind of hanging out at the same level that we hung out before. Um, where we're, you know, where the where the MVRVZ score is is sitting just around one. Okay. So, anyways, I, I thought this was useful. If you guys like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also remember you can get access to this chart as well as a lot of other charts, a lot of on-chain charts, price metric charts, risk charts, derivative charts, social media charts. We've been recently added some NFT charts. Go to the website into the cryptoverse.com. You can always cancel if it's not your thing. Um, but certainly check it out and you can lock in the lower rate before April 17th. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.